Hello. Today's topic is expectation of bivariate random variables. Suppose G is a function which is a mapping, which is a mapping from R squared to R. And if X and Y have joined PMF P of XY, then expectation of G of XY is nothing but double sum over G of XY P of XY is the expectation. And if X and Y have joined PMF, uh, sorry, joined PDF, if X and Y are continuous random variable and has joined PDF, FXY, then we have that expectation of G of XY is equals to integration G of XY f of xy dx dy okay now take one example suppose that x and y are uh, discrete random variables with pmf given in a box that is x takes only two values that is 0 and 1 and y takes also two values 0 and 2 okay and the corresponding probability is r 0.2 0.7 0 and 0.1 now we need to find expectation of xy how can we find that from this above formula, we already came to know that expectation of xy is nothing but xi yi into the joint PMF. Okay, so for the first value, we get 0 multiplied by 0 multiplied by 0.2. As the joint PMF for the value of x equals to 0, y equals to 0 is 0.2. Now for 0, 2, we have the probability 0 0.7 or the joint PMF as 0 0.7. Sorry, it is joint PMF, not the probability. For 1, 0, we have the PMF 0. And for 1, 2, we have the PMF 0 0.1. Therefore, altogether it results in 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2 is the expectation of xy. Okay. Now, we are going to discuss about some theorems regarding the expectation of bivariate random variables. theorem. First of all, the first theorem says that expectation of x plus y is equals to expectation of x plus expectation of y. And the next one says that if x is less than y, then the expectation of x is less than equals to expectation of y. So first, we have to prove the first theorem. Proof of first theorem. First of all, expectation of x plus y can be written as double integration x plus y f of x y dx dy. Okay. Therefore, we also can re, uh, write that x f of x y dy dx 
and plus integration y f of x y dy dx. Okay. Therefore, x f of x dx plus y f of y dy. Therefore, from this we get expectation of x plus expectation of y. Hence, the proof. Okay. Now we have to prove the second theory. As we have been told that x is less than equals to y, then we can write integration x fx dx is less than equals to integration x, sorry, integration y fy dy, where fx and fy be the respective PDFs. If x and y are continuous random variables, then it is very much obvious that expectation of x is less than equals to expectation of y. Okay. So we already proved our two theorems and that's all for today. Thank you very much.